some really sad news out of Utah. Apparently, they are uh, Jazz are reportedly shutting down rookie center Walker Kessler. Nobody saw that coming. But there are legit people out there whose business it is to write about the NBA believe that the Utah Jazz won the Rudy Gobert trade, not just because of the bonkers amount of first-round picks that they landed from Minnesota or the young players that they got, but because Kessler, they believe, is already better or as good as Rudy at one-tenth of the price. People are legitimately saying that they would not trade Walker Kessler for Rudy Gobert straight up right now. That's how much of a fleecing Danny Ainge put on our man Tim Connolly. Shame, Tim Connolly. Shame. Probably should not surprise anyone. He was a beast at Auburn, seven feet one, seven foot five wingspan, nine nine feet five inches standing reach reach. That's ridiculous. He had one of the highest block rates in college basketball history. Ten blocks per hundred possessions. Jesus Christ. That seems like a made-up stat. That's a Kenyon Martin stat. It is not. I promise you, it is not a fake stat. Some scouts thought that this was the steal of the draft considering his stats, his size, his upside. And the wild thing, he did not lose a step converting to the NBA in Utah. His 72% field goal percentage this year is the best in the NBA. He won't win the title because he's a few shots short of the minimum amount of shots to the quality and one of the highest ever by a rookie. He's also averaging an incredible 2.3 blocks per game on 23 minutes per night. Let me say that again. Walker Kessler currently averaging 2.3 blocks per game on only 23 minutes per night. Last 12 games, he averaged 13, 10, and 2 with three blocks and less than one turnover in 28 minutes of playtime. So, pretty damn good, I'd say. Not really fair to call Walker Kessler a replacement for Gobert because they do different things, but in reality, oh my God, he's just so much cheaper for a center and thus so much more valuable to a team that's rebuilding than Rudy Gobert could ever be. Honestly, keeping Rudy Gobert would have been bad for the Utah Jazz. You don't want to build around him with all these young guys and him making $40-plus million a year. No shot. What Danny Ainge and Will Hardy have accomplished in Utah in their very first year, I think is going to go down as one of the more remarkable transformations in many years, the Utah Jazz were filled with oldies, guys who could not play defense, no athletes outside of Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, who, by the way, hated each other, and both were making 30 plus million dollars per year, and they had no real ability to get out from under that. And now, all of a sudden, they have this quote unquote conscious decision to tank, and they've got young guys like O'Shea Baji and Laurie Markinen and Walker Kessler. And, 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 and a bajillion draft picks. Do not forget Blocker Kessler. That's what we're calling him now. Blocker Kessler, who is going to be swatting shots in Salt Lake City for a long time, even though he is shut down for the next three games because, let's be honest, Utah was always going to avoid being in the play-in tournament or the playoffs.